Nintendo's main man and mascot Mario has done pretty much everything. But back in 1992, he... No, you know what? He was still doing everything back then as well, including trying his hand at the finer arts in Mario Paint. Probably one of the most unconventional titles ever released on the Super Nintendo, Mario Paint was less of a game and more of a creative tool that allowed gamers to design pixelated works of art and then show them off by dragging your friends around and making them watch your TV because this was pre-internet and that was the only way you could share things. If that wasn't awkward enough, the game also came bundled with a rather drab-looking peripheral, the official Nintendo Mouse and Mouse Pad. Only on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Immediately I was skeptical about this game and wondered whether or not this was a departure into the dark, drab and dull world of edutainment. Well, it didn't take long to realise that this wasn't the case. In fact, Mario Paint was, and still is, infectiously fun and joyous to play with. The game opens on a blank canvas. From here you could then choose different brushes, colours, textures and even stamp pre-made objects into your scene to create wondrous works of art like this one. Also, controlling the cursor with the Super Nintendo mouse turned out to be really intuitive and actually kind of fun. Although it did require a flat surface, which meant I had to struggle to drag a desk up to my couch and crank my neck and strain my eyes as I used the TV as a computer monitor. <laughs> Long-lasting injuries aside, it was all the small touches in this game that made it truly feel like a Mario experience. Popping sound effects, animated curses, official Nintendo assets, all backed by a soundtrack that would never become annoying. But if annoying music was more your thing, the game also came with a music creator that allowed you to play sound effect notes on a timeline and compose your own 16-bit masterpieces. I present to you the official good game theme. Along with this, the game was bursting with extra modes that allowed you to add your own style and creativity. There was a stamp designer, an animated stage to create little movies, and even a bug swatting minigame in case you needed to be reminded that you were still in fact using a game console. Thinking back, I can't actually remember if I ever created anything I would have considered art in Mario Paint, but at the same time I also remember not caring. It was a weird and interesting new way to use my Super Nintendo, and looking back it's clear that Nintendo knew that the most enjoyable part of doing anything creative is in the process itself. Now, to play me out, I give you the good game theme as performed by Cats! <laughs>